reading a book about Jagadish Chandra Bose and now today I am going to talk about him. Jagadish Chandra Bose was one of the most significant scientists of all time. He was born around the 1860s. Now many people think that there was one person and one person who invented the radio and that person was Marconi but everybody usually forget the role that scientist Jagadish Chandra Bose played in the development of the radio. Jagadish Chandra Bose was born in Jagadish Chandra Bose was born in a town in Bangladesh called Munsi Gong. His first paper was published to the Asiatic Journal for Bengal in 1894. This paper was about how not related to radios. However, his second paper was. His second paper was published even in England. And this paper was about coherers. What were coherers? Well, these coherers were kind of like an early version of the radio. Now, this thing was meant to be a radio wave receiver. So, it would receive signals of radio waves. However, he said, Jagadish Chandra Bose said, that he would perfect and eventually patent this. However, nothing of the kind was ever had ever happened. He eventually developed something so, sort of similar to the coherer. And he didn't study something for communications. He didn't study these radio waves or anything for communication purposes. He didn't mean to develop radio into a communication medium. In fact, he even openly said, hey, if you want to create, make radio a communication medium, you have all my work, no fees, you don't have to pay anything to get that work. You can use it. It's free source. It's open source. So that meant that he would, he would give away all of his research if anybody wanted to make radio a communication medium. However, he was not interested in it. So he, he wouldn't do it. He was focused on radio specifically to study its properties. And he, in f he, in fact, invented most of the parts of what we would now call the microwave. He also was the person who, cre who influenced radio creation by a bunch. Now, he has done brilliant things in electromagnetism. In fact, he also studied things other than electromagnetism. He, he was the one who contributed a lot to radio development. And when radio was eventually made a communication medium, he is often not credited. But he was the one who contributed a lot to it. He was the one who influenced Marconi and so many other scientists who would improve the radio after Marconi. Now, he did other things, such uh, other than radio waves. He also focused on plants. And in fact, he, he found that plants actually felt pain. He found, he also demonstrated that sensations of plants were not chemical, but rather electrical signals. And using this information, he actually mocked all of the vegetarians who at the time were saying, hey, we're not going to eat animals because that causes pain. If we eat plants, that causes less pain because plants don't feel pain. However, when it was discovered that plants, in fact, do feel pain, then Jagadish Chandra Bose started mocking the vegetarians. In 1917, he established the Bose Institute, a university where people could come and learn. And he was the leader for it for the last 20 years of his life before his death in 1937. This short summary of Jagadish Chandra Bose's life was a quite short one, but he will be remembered far longer than this video, 
far longer than his dad. He will be remembered for hundreds of years.